When I first met Jessica, I literally couldn't get her off my mind. I'd be creating videos just like this and she'd be on my mind. I'd be in the bathroom combing my hair and I'd look at the comb and I'd see her face. I'd even be doing my favorite activity in the entire world, which is kite surfing, and I'd be thinking of her the entire time. Okay, fine, that was a lie. Maybe I wouldn't think about her the entire time when I was kite surfing, but most of the time, because I really did love her. Moral of the story is that if you're on his mind, then you are doing well in the relationship. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to be on his mind nonstop. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Little from sexyconfidence.com where I help you create your love story. And this video is all about being on that guy's mind when you're not around. Number one, leave him wanting more. One thing I always remember when Jessica and I first started dating is that we'd go on a first date or a second date or even like our fifth date and she'd always kind of end things earlier than I wanted. She'd always just be like, okay, great. It was really great seeing you, but I gotta go. And I'd always be like, wait, no, I wanna hang out more. And then I remember other dates that I've been on long, long time ago, back when I was single. Jeez, it feels like a long time now. But when you go on a date and be like an eight hour date and at the end you almost like have nothing else to talk about and when you leave that date, you're thinking, are we gonna have literally any ground to cover on date number two? Which brings me to my second point. Number two, stay mysterious on the first couple dates. You do not have to tell him your entire life story on that first date. Leave some stuff for later. And maybe he even asks you a very specific question on a first date. You can always just say, look, let's keep that for the second date. It's kind of a bold move, but I like it. Number three is don't be what I call an insta-texter. We all live in a world of instant gratification. We think of a woman, text her, and she responds. Let him think of you, text you, and then you respond. Give it a little time. And the way to give it a little time is to go get a life. Go make things happen, right? If you want him to be thinking about you, you have to be going and doing interesting things with your life. You can't be sitting at home, net watching Netflix, eating Ben & Jerry's every single night during that time. Like, go pick up a new hobby. Go figure out rock climbing. Go do something fun that you've never done before with your girlfriend. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is, just fill that time with something else other than you sitting at your phone, counting down the moments until you can respond to it his initial text. Got it? Number four, poke fun of him a little bit. When you bust his balls, just a, even a little bit, he's always gonna be wondering in the back of his mind, like, is she into me or what's going on here? And if he's always kind of wondering where he stands with you, then he's gonna be thinking about you a lot and thinking about how he can get you to like him. And number five is just be authentic. Authenticity is strangely missing nowadays. And remember, you can't fake authenticity. And when you're being authentic and being real and being the type of kind of goofy, awkward person that you might be and that I certainly am whenever I go out and meet new people, it's okay if you do something embarrassing or stupid. Remember, it's totally cool. And sometimes the very fact that you did something embarrassing is stupid is actually gonna make him like you even more. The University of Texas released some really interesting studies about this phenomenon. They studied how simple mistakes can actually affect perceived attraction. He actually asked male students from the university to watch recordings of people taking a quiz. When people did well on the quiz, but spilled coffee at the end of the interview, the students actually rated them higher on likability than when they did well on the quiz and didn't spill coffee. And they concluded from the study that sometimes being authentic and being weird and even being clumsy, like in that situation, can actually make you more likable in certain situations. And I've personally experienced that a number of times when I've gone on a date or when I've been flirting with a woman back when I was single and something weird would happen or she'd say something a little bit strange or weird or even spill her drink or do something a little bit awkward like trip, there's a part of you that's just like, oh, that's really cute. And you actually start to connect with that person even more. So if you'd like a little bit of help on how to flirt with a guy, how to be on his mind more often, I have an amazing training for you. It's called the Flirting Workshop. It's 100% free. You can check it out right over here or right in the link in the description and also so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.